We have officially the last three days left in this apartment before we need to return the keys and leave everything empty. Oh yeah, we've been calling this place home for almost two years now. Ten flies. So. Oh yeah, it was incredible journey. And as we need to leave the flat in the same conditions, obviously, as we got it, uh, there is honestly a lot of work to be done. <laughs> as we've decided to keep most of our stuff and furniture while we we're traveling, we need to properly disassemble and pack it and prepare it for transport. Yeah, luckily we got the opportunity to storage all the stuff we want to keep and also our friend is coming with a van, which is also a huge help. But before we need to pack everything and prepare it for a transport, because yeah, today is what, Thursday? So we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days uh, to clean up everything, sort everything, and yeah, I came up with ideas how we want to do it. And yeah, yeah, on Sunday we need to be gone. Yeah, and make the flat completely empty as it was before, because there were just white walls, not even the lights. So there's plenty of work to be done. Oh yeah, actually we started yesterday already with selling our washing machine, which was actually a huge success because yeah, we really didn't want to keep that thing and take it with us. So the plan for today is to sort out all our clothes, to disassemble the wardrobe and also to declutter all our small things which we kind of don't use on a daily basis, you know. Yeah, to have a package which we take for travel and the rest of it will just wrap it and store for some time exactly so yeah, yeah. Let's sounds into like it. a lot of work yeah let's do it Woo! <laughs> I'm going down to cellar, which is actually a huge advantage as our apartment is quite small, it's around 35 square meters, so most of the stuff we leave it there if we don't use it on a daily basis. And last week I was collecting some card boxes in order to be able to pack everything and especially the big uh, wardrobe walls. Uh, I wouldn't wrap them really well, so they will not get, get damaged. And right now we are at minus or hey, hey, hey. we fit here So while Mark went down to take all the boxes, I'm just thinking over here what to do with all the clothes and have to pack it efficiently and I came up with this idea. It could be nice to have it in, uh, you know, big suitcases to kind of know what is where and have it practically so you can take whatever you want to anytime you want to so well all the clothes took us much much more time than we really expected and yeah i don't know it was what maybe about three hours that we were really sorting it out and packing and deciding what to keep and oh i'm so glad we actually decided to start today because originally we thought it could be done all in just one day but i mean not really probably <laughs> i mean if you would be forced to maybe yes yeah. but if you want to have some system and know where you put some stuff at least have an idea then it takes a little bit of a time so i think the bedroom this assembly is rescheduled for tomorrow oh yeah but at least we did something and as this apartment is not that big you need to do just one thing at the same time yeah to not make more mess than really cleaning but i mean <laughs> you cannot really walk there i mean right now it's really about uh, doing a mess around because that's the only way how we can pack right now but slowly we are getting there but i think it's time to have a dinner and just uh, think about all the other things we want to do tomorrow and yeah i guess we see each other in the morning right yep <laughs> bye guys
Good morning, everyone, from a rainy Bolzano. The sky is probably crying Aww. because we are leaving. It's such a rainy mood. So we need to continue today and really to empty this room out, meaning that disassemble the bed, disassemble the table, and then the wardrobe. And yeah, at least we managed to empty the wardrobe yesterday and organize all the clothes. So uh, that's checked. And yeah, today this room needs to be empty, so let's get started. Oh. time-lapses so satisfying watching those organizing cleaning kind of time-lapses coffee break and we continue <laughs> Foil them together or what? Yeah. I think we'll first. Ah, okay. A bit more work. So, table is down, bed is down. Now, I have just the wardrobe. I got myself a big cartoon like this so I can wrap the fragile doors of the wardrobe so let's get started oh. I don't know about you but every time this is the worst part to bring the, the back wall out if you have any ideas how to do it better tell me or IKEA make it better I can give you an update so with few stops here and there you know for cooking the lunch and eating and working a bit um, in between we are slowly getting there I would say I mean it's not the fastest process but I think we're constant yeah it's Friday afternoon it's about I don't know 4 p.m. so we still have some time and also the whole day tomorrow so it looks quite promising but yeah we made this like a corner of stuff we already prepared for loading the car but I don't know what about you but I'm starting to think if um, we are all good for the one I mean uh, like, let's yeah, see let's like see if we fit everything I don't know honestly I have some doubts now <laughs> me too but let's see I can't believe I'm saying this, but we have less than 24 hours left in this flat. And yeah, we are finishing with all the work because we really want to leave everything as it was in the, when we got this flat. So that also means... <laughs> Doing some 
little bit of a cleaning of the walls because here was the table and the uh, cables made it messy also probably i don't know if this is the best way how to do it with the sandpaper really soft one to just scratch a little bit of the white paint yeah and just make it white again <laughs> so it looks good exactly we already packed the bed yesterday so we have just mattresses over here on the ground where the guys are sleeping we slept on the couch but yeah today we will need to pack also this so we'll probably sleep on the ground all of us and yeah so now until lunch we really want to like pack everything then go for a walk and just kind of you know walk around and spend the afternoon outside as the sun is finally shining again and yeah this evening we need to pack both our cars so fingers crossed all right so this is the main entrance hall and it's full of our stuff first we load the couch then the wardrobe and we then will start filling up with the boxes and we'll see how we'll manage it to tetris them in order to fully use up the space in the van wish us luck i think it will be in a process one two hours for sure hopefully we'll be left with no stuff Well, I mean, I have to say we completely underestimated the amount of stuff we have and the fact that we have just the multivan, which is really not the biggest van you can get. And the, yeah, we need to leave here the couch and the bicycles and hopefully that's everything. But at this point, really, I don't know, but we'll see. But it's uh, getting more interesting. Probably we are not uh here for the last time either we sell it here or we just yeah have to come back for it okay this is really getting serious so it's 10 30 pm and we are supposed to leave this apartment in 12 hours because yeah tomorrow morning 10 a.m. We are meeting our landlord and we are returning the keys and everything and it's supposed to be, you know, empty but it's not yet and the guys are trying to fit everything into cars but uh, oh my goodness, it's been such a journey so this place doesn't want us to leave because Okay, yesterday the guys arrived at 4 a.m. Okay, at 4 a.m. because the highway, like the main highway connecting Germany, Austria with Italy, was closed. They just closed the highway, which happens maybe, I don't know, twice in lifetime. So they closed it. So they arrived at 4 a.m. That was the first thing. Then today it was raining the whole day. And now we are not able to fit everything in the cars, which means I don't need to be emotional because this is not the last night we are spending here as obviously we need to come back next week, you know, drive there and back, which is going to be like plus thousand kilometers, maybe even more to just come back and collect all the stuff. Oh my goodness. So, this is the last day. It's like 6.30 in the morning. We went to the bed like after 2, so it was really short sleep. And yeah, kind of just realizing that we failed. So guys and just like that this our apartment is now completely empty and probably in 10 to 15 minutes we are returning the keys and we're definitely leaving 
this place and for now also Bolzano South Tyrol and yeah I don't know what to tell more right now it's a little bit of a mixed feelings here as we came here to the something really unknown for us and it became our home we had home here for almost two years and now it's time to move on and as we decided to go full-time travel for some time we'll not have a couch a bed so it will be really a new adventure as this was and uh, i'm sorry if this was a little bit different episode but uh, we felt that we would like to also share this part and yeah if you like it please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more travel related vlogs in the future As I'm editing this vlog two days later we are on the way back to Bolzano because as forecast we didn't really fit everything inside our cars and therefore we need to drive to our storage place sort out the things and right now we are coming back in this camper van from Lucas and Domi our friends you may remember from Romanian series and this uh, ability to oversleep in Bolzano really helped us to collect our stuff in a quite convenient way and once we are hopefully finished moving in upcoming days we'll be ready to move on with our lives and begin a new chapter oh yeah welcome back yeah long, long time, time no see, see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah Truck driver. Oh yeah, that's the first time I'm doing this like this. Just to have an idea. This oh. is the normal one. This is for the truck. Introduce the denaro or the tessera. Geld or the card einführen. Attendere, prego. Bitte warten. Bitte warten. Oh yeah. They aren't here. Grazie e buon viaggio. Danke e gute Fahrt. Gute Fahrt. So basically, we left everything in this small cellar and we really packed it up. <laughs> The cellar, everything empty, right? And this is so I'm sure I didn't forget anything here. Okay, cool, nothing. Mm. There's nothing as well, everything is here. Ah, so much crap. <laughs> Okay, the last thing, these things I will just use for support or protection of the van. I don't know why we take this hanger, but whatever. Goodbye, Bolzano. Bye bye. This was our home. Now the new chapter begins.